Hello everyone, here we go with our next lesson. Today we're gonna to do multi-step equations. Remember we did one-step equations, we did two-step equations, now we're gonna do multi-step when, uh, when it involves more than one. We're gonna use the distributive property, we're gonna use combining line terms, and we're going to use when we have variables in both sides of the equation. So, remember, when we do it in class, I always give you like a little warm up so you can, um, you know, like remember how to start solving an equation. This one over here, guys, you everybody should be able to do this because that was the last lesson. And this is two step equation. Remember, the first thing you do, okay, you always move the constant first, okay? Remember, this is the constant, that's the constant, and that's the constant, right? To the other side. So you always do the opposite operation. So it's gonna be minus one, minus one. Then you get two x equals six because seven minus one is six. Then you divide by two, so x equals three, okay? Remember, that was your warm up. So here, look, the order is not the same, but remember, it doesn't matter. You're still gonna move the constant first, no matter where, in which position it is. So because it's a negative, you gotta do it plus, all right? So what you do in one side, you do on the other side. So we have four X left equals 33 plus 15 is 48. And if you divide by four, X equals 12, okay? Then here, same thing, minus four, minus four, I forgot to do my line, that cancels out. Now remember here, because that was positive, I didn't have to bring it down, but when it's negative, you always bring that down because you might forget, and you're gonna think that the answer is gonna be wrong. So 84 minus four is 80, and if you divide by negative 20, x equals negative four, all right? So that was the warm up. Now, listen, before we continue, I just wanna uh, you know, go over some uh, vocabulary that you're supposed to know. Remember, the constant is the number that doesn't have a variable, right? Now, the sign right here is the operation you're going to perform. It could be plus or minus, right? Coefficient is the number in front of the variable, all right? So these two are constant, remember, so these two are family, okay? So all the definitions is there, so that's just for you to remember, right? It's just like a little, um, um, how can I tell you? It's a little, uh, okay, just for you to remember and how to identify every term from an equation, okay? Remember, uh, like terms contain the same variables. Remember, to be a like term, the variable needs to have the same exponent, okay? And I give you some examples. 3x and 2x are like terms, why? Because they both have x as a Last name, remember, I, I always say that, all right? Or the same variable. Now, if you have x squared with x, those two are not like terms because this one is square and this is not square, okay? So that's what I'm talking about when I say that they need to have the same variable. Coefficient, I told you the number in front of the variable, okay, or attached to the variable. And I ask you, ask, ask you, I'm sorry, also some examples to circle the like terms. If you know here, 3x, and 5x are large terms. Here you have 6x and you have 2y. And you also have 12 and 6 because they are constant, okay? That's what we'll talk about combining line terms. All right, now we're gonna do our first um, example. And I think the first has to do with combining like terms. Okay, so to solve equations, many times we must first combine like terms, or, you know, or like I always told you in class, combine family, unite families, okay? So if you notice, this first one had to do with that, okay? We have an equation, but now we have like terms. You have to make sure you combine like terms in both sides of the equations. But in this case, only the left side has like terms. So before you start moving things around, what I recommend is to combine line terms. So this one right here is family with this one. Now, be careful. 
When we combine line terms in the same side, we do not do the opposite. A lot of kids will do plus 4x plus 4x. You always change the sign when you move in the variable to the other side of the equation, okay? And that's gonna be something that we're gonna do you know, later on. But for now, when you have family in the same sign, just perform, just combine family. Remember, combine family is just like adding like terms. But here, I have a positive term and I have a negative term. Remember what I said to you. You can just do 15 minus four, right? Because that's negative. If that would be plus, so you would add them up. So you do 15 minus four, that will give you 11x. You still keep the variable because just only combining uh, like terms. You bring down the negative 24 equals negative 79, and now you have two-step equations, okay? So what do we move first? The constant, okay? So because it's negative, we do plus. Plus 24, plus 24. We cancel that out, and I have 11x equals 79 minus 24, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 7 minus uh, 2 is 5. And because this negative, the 79 is negative, and that's the greatest, so that remains negative. Remember, you have $24 and you spend 79. You still have, you short $55, all right? Now you divide by 11, divide by 11, so x equals negative 5, all right? So that should be your first answer, okay? All these four problems have to do with combining line terms. Now, here in the left side, we had one pair of family, right? But now here, if I do my bottom line, I notice that this and this are family, and that and that are family, okay? So we have to combine. Remember, when we're combining, we're adding, okay? We're not doing the opposite. Don't do plus 5x plus 5x. Just read it as it looks. To me, that says 9 minus 5, okay? So that will leave me with 4x, right? And I do the constant. 11 plus 10, that will be plus 21, okay? Remember the rule for adding sign numbers. When you're adding two numbers with the same signs, you're going to keep the sign and you're going to add. When you add in different sign numbers, you're going to subtract and you're going to keep the sign of the higher absolute value of that number. So I'll print out the negative 15 and look, I have two-step equation. Remember, the constant goes first. Minus 21, minus 21, cancels out, and I have left 4x equals negative 36. You see what I mean? Now, when you combine in same sign numbers, you add them up and you keep the sign, okay? Remember what I told you, if you own $15 and you own $21 more, now you own $36. So now we divide by four, so X equals negative nine. All right, let's do two more. Same thing in this one, okay guys? We also have, we only have one family here, but now we have three members instead of, instead of two. I have two members here, and I have two members here, but this one has three. That means all these three are like terms because they all have x's, right? And just combine like terms, okay? Don't forget to, to do your line. And you say, okay, four minus three is one. The one plus seven is eight. So you have eight x minus 16 equals 24. You can do that on the calculator if you don't know how to do simple adding, okay? <laughs> So now the constant is negative 16, so that becomes plus, all right, plus 16. I have left 8x equals, I think it's 40. And if you divide by eight, x equals five. Now, see, now we're speeding up. You have to do three, uh, actually, this is a lesson for three days in a regular school year, right? But now three lessons in one day here, because besides that you already know this, Okay, we have to move on. Here, now, this one is like the one we did um, before. We have two sets of family here. This one with that one, and this one with, actually, this one is also family, but I'm not touching that, remember, guys. I'm gonna do that at the end. My suggestion is that you always combine line terms in one size first, all right? So, let's do the variables, okay? If you have $27 and you spend 42, you don't have enough. 
that means that you're going to subtract and you're going to keep the sign of the higher absolute value of a number which is negative 42 so if you have 27 dollars and you spend 52 you short 15 dollars so that becomes negative 15x okay because remember you're spending more than what you have now here you have more than what you spend because you have 54 dollars and you spend 18 so that's going to be positive when you subtract it because this is the higher number right so i believe that's 36 36 46 54 yes equals 12. and that's an equation of two steps all right so we do the same thing is that right let me see because it's saturday morning and i'm doing my lesson today because it's today is fourth of july and i don't want to get cut right Yes, it's 36, so I just want to make sure now. Uh, we're going to do minus 36, minus 36, right? And we have negative 15x equals, same thing. You have $12, you spend 36, you're going to own, you still short $24. Okay, so what do we do now? Uh we do we're going to divide by negative 15. remember guys okay when you're dividing you always divide by the number with the sign that it has okay don't change the sign when you divide like a lot of people will divide by positive 15 but that's not true okay so there's two options here remember you can leave it as a fraction or you can leave it as a decimal if if it's like a if it's like a decimal that has an end so you answer you can leave it as a decimal if it's a decimal that also have an end so you leave it as a fraction, as reduced fraction. So remember how to do it on the calculator, right? You're going to do negative 24 divided by negative 15. Let's see what we have, okay? This is what I did, okay? If I do enter, well, I get a decimal that has an end. So you can actually write your answer as positive x equals 1.6. But sometimes, you know, like they give it to us a fraction. Remember how we convert that to a fraction? Just do math enter enter and it gives you 8 over 5 okay the only reason why i'm spending this to you because on a test they might give it to you as a decimal or they might give it to you as a fraction so both of them are correct okay so just make sure to um if you don't see this that means it's going to be given as a fraction if you don't see this then it's going to be given as a decimal but they're never going to give you you know like both because the both will be wrong, right and that will be tricky all right so that's it just combining family okay it's the same thing you combine family first then you start moving things around okay so now let's do our second method our second method is using the distributive property all right everybody knows that i did an example for you here okay in this case we're distributing in both sides because the number uh, the binomial has a number in front of them so every time you have a number outside the parentheses you're supposed to distribute it's an example here on how to do that, so you can use that as a reference, all right? Now, let's start. And if, you know, I always tell you with something easy, right? In this case, we're only distributing in one side of the equation, okay? Because in the other side, there's no parentheses, all right? So, this is my bottom line, and I distribute. Remember, distribute means multiplication. So three times two X, that will give you six X. Three times positive four, that will give you plus 12 equals 30. Now we have two step equations, okay? Minus 12, the constant always goes first. You have six X in this side equals what? Equals 18. You have $30, you spend 12, you have 18 left. Divide by six, X equals three. See how simple it is? This is the same thing now remember guys sometimes look at the difference between these two the three here is actually attached to the parentheses or next to the parentheses while the 12 here is what is separated by the negative sign that means that you cannot distribute 12 times 3 because it's being separated by the operator all right so what you have to do is you always have an imaginary one here so you have two options you can distribute the sign or you can just assume there is a one here okay so if you put a one here so you're going to distribute that then you will have left bring down the 12 right now negative 
1 times 2x will give you negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 3 will give you positive 3 equals 7. Now here, we use the distributive property and now we're going to use the, the uh, property that we used before, which is combining line terms. We have three families here, this one, this one, and that one. But remember, you don't touch the right side until you combine first on the left side. So 12 plus 3, that will give you 15. And you bring down the negative 2x equals 7. Now the constants goes to the other side. And remember, the constant, even though here is in reverse order, it doesn't matter. That's the one that's going to be moved first. So because it's positive, we make it negative. That goes away. And now you have negative 2x. Don't forget the sign. You have $7 and spend 15. That means that you own $8 or you short $8. So now you divide by negative 2 x equals positive 4 okay this was one of uh we did this a lot at school so that's what i'm combining all three lessons in ones i know you're capable to do this now here look at here this is our uh bottom line but now we have to distribute twice but the only difference is we're distributing twice in the same side of the equation in the left side so i know that my negative 91 is not going to touch it's not going to be touched by now so let's distribute twice this one with this one so 7 times 4x that will give you 28x right 7 times negative 5 that will give you negative 35 do the same thing with the negative 4 negative 4 times positive 6 that will give you negative 24x and negative 4 plus 5 that will give you negative 20 i'm sorry it didn't have enough space here okay so we have 28x minus 35 minus 24x minus 20 okay so now remember this is my negative 91 that's still on the other side i haven't done anything with that yet so we have two sets of family here we have the x with the x and the constant with the constant remember although this one is family with these two don't touch it because they're different sides of the equation for now so if i have 28 dollars and I spend 24 i have four dollars left for x so if i spend 35 dollars today and i spend 20 dollars tomorrow I mean, yesterday, that means I have spent $55. See what I mean? And now I bring down my negative 91. Two-step equation, okay? The constant lives first. So because it's minus, we make it a plus. 4x equals, remember guys, all of that with the positive. I have $40, $55 and I spend 91. Do I have enough money? No. So that means that I'm going to own money. How much money am I going to own? So I think I'm going to own $36, okay? 11 minus 5 is 6, that becomes 8 minus 5 is 3. And if I divide by 4, x equals negative 9. Remember guys, okay, you can use your calculator. And in the next one, I'm giving you distribution, but now they in opposite size, okay? So let's start with this one first. 5 times 2x is 10x, and 5 times positive 4 is plus 20. Equals, same thing here, okay? 4 times 3x is 12x, 4 times positive 7 is 28. Now, we have family, but this is this is the topic that we're going to do next, the next method, because now we have families, but we're having different, in different sides of the equation. So this is the introduction, you know, for the other one that we're going to do after. So now we have variables in both sides. Actually, okay, we have this with that and that with that, but they're in separate sides. Always start with the x, okay? And I always, I always told you in class to bring the right side to the left side. Always begin with the variable. And I'm gonna explain to you why. So I'm gonna bring this one to here. So in this case, I'm gonna do negative 12x minus 12x, okay? Now, if I bring in this here, so the immediate cost I have to go the other way, so I can do this at the same time. So I do minus 20, minus 20. I'm killing two birds with the same stone. I show you, I told you that in school, all right? And I'm gonna keep implementing it because at this point, you should be able to do this, all right? Now, if you don't know, so do one step at a time. But for now, you should be able to do this. So the constant is gonna cancel here and the variable is gonna cancel there. Because remember, I want my variable to stay on the left side and my constant on the right side. So I had $10 and I spent 12. Do I have enough money? No, so I own $2, okay? I'm sure $2 here. 
I have 20, 28 dollars and I spend 20, I have eight dollars left. So I divide by negative two, x equals negative four. In reality, guys, this problem was for the next uh, example or the next method. Remember, we did already, um, we did the uh, combined line terms and now we're doing um, distributed property, okay? So we have one more that we're gonna work on it, okay? And that's gonna be it when we have variables in both sides of the equation like this one, okay? So here we go, let's finish up. To solve equation with variables in both sides, guys, okay? This is what you have to do. Um, combine line terms in either side of the equation or both if necessary, okay? Hold on. Move the variable to one side of the equation, usually to the left, that's what I told you before. Move the constant to the other side, usually to the right. So it's all up to you, it doesn't matter, okay? Where you, what, what size are you moving the variable or the constant? The thing is that make sure you solve it correctly, all right? So look here, this is exactly what we did before, okay? This is my bottom line, okay? I always want my variable to end in here and my constant to end in there. This is the best thing to do because when we do inequalities, guys, inequality, you always want to have the variable on the left side. So I'm getting used to that. I'm trying to make you get used to that. So look, I'm gonna do one using a single step, but after that, we're gonna do one when we kill two birds with sandstone. So this one begins always with the variable because that's positive that becomes negative. This is what I'm talking about. If you don't know how to do a two step, I mean, kill two birds with sandstone, okay, so do one step at a time. Five minus two, three X, bring down the negative five equals 13. Now two step equation, plus five, plus five, cancel out the five, now we have three X equals 18. And if I divide by three, X equals six, okay? Now we're gonna do, same thing, this is what I was talking about. I did this doing step by step. But now this one, look, pay attention. You can kill two birds with the same stone. If you're gonna bring the X to this side, you can bring the 21 to that side because you want the variable on one side and the constant on the other side. So because the X is traveling to this side, that becomes minus X here, minus X here. Now, this 21, I can automatically take it. Instead of doing this step right here, I'm gonna do it all at once, okay? And look what happened. The 21 is gonna cancel here and the X is gonna cancel there. So seven minus one, that will give you six X equals three plus 21 equals 24. And if I divide by six, X equals four. Now, if you don't know how to do it, all right guys, um, using um, two steps, I mean, killing two birds with the same stone, you can do it one step at a time. Now here, 